somehow we can actually do some rehearsing with the timings of our slideshow. So what this means is basically it's going to record the timings as they go. So if you were up in front giving your presentation, you wouldn't have to click through the presentation. You could time it to, to move forward or to advance the slides on its own. So if you're only dealing with the timing of your slideshow, I would come up to the slideshow tab and click on rehearse timings. As soon as you do this, you can either use the left click on your mouse or the space bar on your keyboard to advance through the timing. So let's do this together. I'm going to click rehearse the timings. Okay, so here's our first slide. As soon as it's ready to turn, I will hit the space bar. Slide two, you could stay on it as long as you need. Here we go. I'm going to hit it again. And here's our last one. Okay, it says your total slideshow time was 14 seconds. Do you want to keep the new timings? Well, yes, because I don't want to click it myself. I want it to do it for me. Okay, so now if we watch the slideshow from the beginning, let's see if it actually moves all by itself. We're not going to touch anything. Okay, it's moving all by itself. Slide two, slide three, and then it's to the very end. Awesome. All we need to do in review to get your slideshow timed without you having to click through it is simply go to slideshow, click on rehearse the timings, and use your spacebar to time it out.